This video demonstrates how to create a report template with Geneticist Assistant's Report Designer. The Report Designer can be accessed from the Reports menu in Geneticist Assistant. When the Report Designer is first open, near the top right you can see the different fields that are available from the Geneticist Assistant database to be included in the report template. In this example, we'll be creating a patient-based report, so we'll be using the Patient tab. To start off the report, we'll add a page header. And we can add this band and then resize it to make it a bit larger. And for this example, on the left side of the page header, we're going to add um, some patient information. So we can add any of the patient information from this top right section here. Uh, first we'll add an external ID and we can just click and drag to add the field into the page header. And you can click on the field to change the location of the field. And then we can also double click on the field here and enter any additional text. So for example we can add a tag that says ID and then following that ID tag, the patient ID for the individual will be shown. And in the same way, we can also add the fields for the patient's last name and first name. And we can go into any of these fields as well and edit them in the same way. For any field that is added to the report template, you can see the characteristics for that field at the lower left side here. Um, so one thing we can do to edit these fields after they've been added, um, we can make sure that they're all lined up uh, the same distance uh, from the left side of the page. So if we look at this left field, um, we have a value of uh, 7 for this particular field. We can go into the other fields that we want to line up and change them so that they're all the same. So now all of these fields will be appropriately lined up on the left side. Also when the fields are first added, uh, these fields would be shown in the report with borders around uh, the field, um, but we can go in and remove those borders as well. And we can remove the borders for all three of these fields at the same time by selecting one field, holding down the shift button, and then selecting the next fields, and then clicking on this icon to group. So we've now grouped these three fields together. And then we can go and look at the border settings here. And if we want to just go ahead and remove all the borders, we can select this far right option so all the borders will be removed. So next we can add on the right side of this page header, we're going to add some of our uh, laboratory information. Um, now at this point I'm going to switch to a different view on the right side. Um, if you click on the save load option here, you have different options for saving uh, the full report template, uh, a band template which would be just a, a part of the overall report, and you can also save individual text fields. So if there's information that may be used in multiple report templates, you can save a text for that information. So we'll do that for our laboratory information, for example. So to create a saved text, we can just click Add Saved Text. We can create a name. So we'll call this lab address, for example. And then you can type in the information to be included. You could of course also copy and paste this information in. So we may want to include information such as the institution, uh, the department, a street address, city, state, and zip code, a phone number, and maybe we'll also add the laboratory director name to be included here as well. So once this information has been entered, we'll just click Save. 
and we've now saved this text so that it can be included in any uh, report template. So then to add this saved text to this particular template, we'll just select it and click and drag into the page header. And again, we can click on it and, and change the location. We'll move this to the top right of the report. Um, and we can also resize so that we can see the full text that's included. Now we can also add any custom image file to the report template as well, um, such as a lab logo uh, can be included. To do that, we'll just click on this uh, add image option and move the image to where we want it to be located roughly. And then we can just double click on this generic image here and click on the folder icon to browse to and select um, our image file. And we'll deselect this ignore aspect ratio um, option so that we can have the image displayed properly. And then we'll click OK. And the image is now added uh, to the report. And as with any of the other fields we've added so far, we can also go ahead and just resize this image, make it a bit larger. So next we can start adding some additional information to our report template. We'll do this next by adding a data grouping header. So this will be our next section. Um, again, we can resize the band, make it a bit larger here. And we'll add a couple different fields of information to this section. First, we can add a section for some patient information. For this section, we'll first add a label at the top to identify the section. So we can click on this capital A here to add a new field and create this new label. And we'll add this new label right at the top left of this section. And we'll make a band that goes all the way across uh, the page. So for this label, we'll identify this section as patient information. With some additional customization that you can do with any of these fields. You can customize the font, the background color that's used, size. So as an example here, we'll change the background color for this field. We'll use a purple. And then we can also go into the font so that we can actually see the lettering. We can change our font color. Here we'll use a white font color so we can see it against the purple. And now we have this customized header. So next we can add the information that we want to include for the patient information. So we'll go back to this add table section where we can pull information uh, from the database. And we'll add some of the same fields. We'll add a field for the ID. And we can edit the field again. This time maybe we'll do two separate lines. And we can resize this box to show both lines. And maybe make this a bit smaller. Um, and again, we'll add the last name for the patient. Um, again, on two different lines. And the first name. And here maybe we'll additionally also add a field for the gender. And we'll also add a field here for the date of birth. And again, we can go ahead and match up the distance that each of these fields is from the top of the section, um, as well as the height of each field so that uh, they're uniform. 
So for this first field, we have a height of 37 and the top value is 40. So we can go into each of these other fields and match them up as well. And you can see as we're changing these values, each of the fields is lining up together nicely. Okay, so um, now we have the patient information added. Next we can add another section. Um, for this example, we'll add a section for uh, specimen information. So we'll add another new label, same way we did for the patient information. We'll create a new section here. Again, we'll make this a band that goes all the way across the report. And this section is going to be he specimen information. And we'll go ahead and change the color options the same way. So we have the purple background with the white font. And the specimen information is something else that may be used in multiple report templates. So this is another case where we can create a, a saved text. So you may have different types of specimen information that you're using. So here for example we'll say this is specimen information type 1. And then you would just enter in your specimen description and save that. And then we can again click on this save text that we created and drag it over into this section of the report. And we can resize this box so that it's large enough to include and display your full description. Next we'll add a new band that we'll use to create a table of the variants for the patient. To add a table to the report template, we'll add the master header and master data bands. And then to create the table on the right side here, we'll go back over to the add table menu options. Now when we look at all the database fields that are available, under the patient tab, there's different types of uh, variables that can be added to the report template. Here we're going to create a table of variants, so we'll go over to the variant tab here. And we'll add the information that we want to include about each variant in the table. So we can add each field just by double clicking. First we'll add HGVS coding to identify the variant. And then we'll also add the pathogenicity just by double clicking again. And we'll add um, a field for any comments that are entered for the variant. So once we've added all the fields that we want to include in our table here, we can just click on insert table. And the fields are added into the table in the report template. Now we can also do some uh, modifications of the table here. Uh, for instance, we can change any of these uh, header labels. So for HGVS coding, we can just double click to open the editor. And we may want to just label this very hint. Also, we can add a header for this section of the report, similarly to what we've done with these other two sections here. So we can select each of these headers for the table holding down the shift button and we can group these fields using this to group icon and then we can click and drag to move these a bit lower within the band and then again we'll add a new label and we can drag these a bit lower for spacing And we can create this label to be variants. 
And we'll format this label the same as for the other sections. So we can change the background color to purple. And the font color will be changed to white. Also to show some of the other modifications that we can make for these headers in our table on the left side here we can also go into the font section we can make these for example bold and underlined and you can also change the alignment uh, as well so we can change the horizontal alignment from the left side so that they are aligned in the center also for the table here, again you have the options of the borders, so you can include the borders, uh, you can remove the borders, also you could include just a border on the bottom for the header sections. You can use these options to customize the way the report table will ultimately look. Next we'll add one additional band for our report template. So we'll add the data grouping footer. And we can resize this band again to make it a bit larger. And the next section that we'll add, we're going to add a section for methods. So we'll add a new label as we have for each of the other sections. And again, this will be our method section. And we'll just go in and uh, format this header same way we have for the others with the purple background and the white font color. And for the methods we'll again use the option of creating a saved text. So we'll go back over to save load on the right side here and we'll add a new saved text. So this will be a method and we'll call this type 1. Again, you may have multiple different types of methods that are used in different report templates. So you would type in or copy and paste your method description and then we can save that. So under save texts here, we'll just click and drag the method save text and we'll make this field a bit larger Then we can add one more section to our report here. So we'll create another new label for this new section. And we'll make this section for a disclaimer. And we'll format this section header here. We'll change the background color again to purple. And the font color again to white. And we'll use the save text option again here. So we'll go to add save text. This will be named disclaimer. And you can enter in your text to be used as a disclaimer. And we'll save that. And again we can just click and drag to add this to the report template. Resize to make sure all the text will be displayed and then we have this additional section added to the report. So we're creating a report template. Uh, what we can also do is save any of these individual bands as a band template as well. So for instance, uh, the page header, if this is something that is used in multiple report templates, the, the overall header, you can just right click in any band and go to save band and you can create a name for it. So just for an example here we'll call this the page header. And then you see that's added under band templates. So if you're creating a new template later and you want to use this same page header that you've already created for another report template, you can just add the band template directly from here without having to add all the individual sections. So now that we've created our report template, we can go ahead and save it by just clicking Save Report Template. 
and we can enter a name for it. So we'll call this our patient report template. And you can set the type of the report. So again, this is going to be a patient-based report. So under type, we're going to select patient. So the report template is now saved and you can see it's added under our list of report templates. Once the report template is created, you can very quickly create the report for any patient by selecting the patient from the list of patients, right clicking and choosing designer reports, and then selecting the appropriate report template. The report will be saved in PDF format.